Milky White. Now I have two friends, a cow and a harp. Quiet! Feed the objects to the cow. What? You heard me feed them to the cow. <laughs> Fill this. I'll do it. She'll only milk for me. Quickly, hurry, please hurry. Squeeze, pal. Child, no! You wait! We followed your instructions! That cow was as white as milk! Yes! That cape was as red as blood! Yes! And the slipper as pure as gold! Yes! Before I compared the hair to this year of corn! I pulled that hair from a maiden in a tower! You what? What were you doing there? Oh, nothing, I swear, just passing by! I touched that hair! Don't you understand? I cannot have touched the the corn! The corn! Will somebody have the corn? Pull it from the ears, eat it to the cow, quickly. Quickly, hurry. This had better work, old man, before the last stroke of midnight. Or your son will be the last of your flesh and blood. Son? Please, not now. Yes! Meet your father. Father! How could that be you? I thought you died in a baking accident. I did not mean to run away from you, son. It's working. But, uh, She's milky. I don't understand. No, not now. Into the tub. Into the tub. Wait, Father. Wait. Is she milky? It's working. We did it. We did it. Son. Father. Son, all is repaired. Oh. And so the mysterious old man died, having helped end the curse on his house. For the baker, there would be no reunion with his father, and he and his wife, bewildered, returned home. The witch, having been punished with age and ugliness, that fateful night when her beans were stolen and the lightning flashed, was now restored to her former state of youth and beauty. Milky White, after a night of severe indigestion, was reunited with a now wealthy Jack. As for the prince. He began his search for the foot to fit the golden slipper. Now, when he reached Cinderella's house, Cinderella's stepmother took the slipper into Florinda's room. Careful, my toe. Darling, I know. What'll we do? It'll have to go. But when you're his bride, you can sit or ride. You'll never need to walk. The girl obeyed and swallowed her pain. Joined the prince on his horse, riding off to become his bride. Within the shoe. This one is not the bride, that's true. Search for the foot that a The prince returned the false bride and asked the other sister to try on the shoe. Fit. Darling, be still. Cut off a bit of the heel and it will. And when you're his wife, you'll such a life. You'll never need to walk. No, no, no. The girl obeyed and swallowed her pain. But as she was helped on the back of the horse by the prince, he noticed the blood trickling from the shoe. Have you, 
no, other daughter. To which the woman replied, No, only a little stunted kitchen wench, which his late wife left behind. But she's much too dirty. She cannot show herself. I insist. And when Cinderella presented herself and tried on the blood-soaked slipper, it fit like a glove. <laughs> this is the true bride. I always wanted a son. <laughs> To the dismay of the stepmother and her daughters, the prince took Cinderella on his horse and rode off. No blood at all within the shoe. This is the proper bride for you, fit to attend a prince. 